March Madness is just a couple of weeks away, and while top teams like UConn, Purdue, and Tennessee are getting all of the love, I think the Creighton Blue Jays are the team to look out for as a dark horse Final Four team. You always want to go all the way and win national championships. You asked for it and we delivered. It's Fan Friday, and you, the fans, chose today's topic for point of view. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know who's your Dark Horse Final Four team. I know they are currently 10th in the AP poll, but I still don't think Creighton is getting the recognition they should as a legit title contender. They began the season ranked 8th after bringing back a majority of their team that went 14-6 and in conference play and 24-13 and overall a season ago. They made it all the way to the Elite Eight as a 6th seed, but fell to San Diego State at the buzzer. They lost Arthur Kaluma and Ryan Nemard in the transfer portal, but added Steven Ashworth and Isaac Trout through the portal and brought back Baylor Shireman, Trey Alexander, and Ryan Kalkbrenner, who, by the way, is one of 11 players to ever win two Big East Defensive Player of the Year awards. Here's Shireman on the team's confidence entering the season. We're very confident, obviously. You know, myself coming back, Kalkbrenner and Trey, three big key pieces on that team last year, and then adding pieces like Isaac and, and uh, Steven, um, and, and Jonathan um, and, and Mason taking big steps this offseason. Um, it's really exciting um, for us as a group, and um, I think this group is uh, very close together, especially off the court, which always helps on the court. The Blue Jays were expected to contend for a conference title this season, but the UConn Huskies have stolen all of that hype by looking like the best team in college basketball even after losing some key players in the NBA draft. Creighton started this season on a five-game win streak with four of those wins in blowout fashion, but entered January with a 9-4 and record, and unranked in the AP poll. And they were showing a lot of signs that they aren't a true top team in the Big East. They were beaten down by Colorado State, lost by 15 to UNLV, and were defeated in their first two games of conference play to Villanova and Marquette. But it's a long season, and great teams don't stay down for long. Before we get into that, here's the results of this week's poll question. We appreciate everybody who participated. Now back to it. Since the calendar flipped, they're 13-4 and four with wins over 23rd-ranked Providence by 9 points, number 1-ranked UConn by 19, and number 5-ranked Marquette by 14 points. And the top of the roster is absolutely balling. Shireman is putting up 18.5 points, 9 boards, and 4 assists per game, and is still a major contender for Big East Player of the Year. Alexander and Kulkbrenner are both over 17 points per game, and Ashworth is scoring in the double digits with 4 assists per game as a 6'1 guard. They've shown they have the horses to make it all the way, but head coach Greg McDermott has to get some credit as well. He's helped the Blue Jays make the tournament in each of the last three seasons, and it would have been four had the 2020 season not ended prematurely. Here's Colt Brenner heaping praise for his coach just a few days ago. Absolutely wouldn't be the player or even person I am today without Max. So he's meant so, so much to me. And I think his best attribute as a coach is that he like genuinely cares about you as a person. He could care less if that helped me in basketball. He just wanted that to help me in, like in life in general. He just wanted me, me to be set up for life. That's how you keep a team together for so long. And if history tells us anything, he has the entire team playing like championship contenders. The Blue Jays are currently one of 11 teams who rank in the Chemcom Top 40 Adjusted Offense and Top 25 Adjusted Defense. Every single national title winner since 2002 has met that criteria. If we want to take it a step further, each of the last 19 national champions were ranked in the top 12 of the AP poll in week six, and Creighton was ranked eighth in that poll. I know this is a bit of an odd way to prove a point, but if anything happens for 19 straight years, you can't just ignore it. And as we approach conference tournaments and selection Sunday, Creighton is playing some of their best ball. They're back in the top 10 of the AP poll for the first time since the second week of December, and have won six of their last seven games, with only a rematch against Villanova remaining on their schedule. So if you're looking for a team to believe in, other than the heavy hitters that everybody's already talking about, the Creighton Blue Jays are your team, and they are my dark horse to make the Final Four. On the women's side, Iowa's Kaylin Clark just made NCAA history, but she still isn't the greatest college basketball player ever. For more on that, be sure to check out our recent point of view. Enjoy the weekend, and we hope to find you here again next week.